What if we all could do something right now to reduce a serious air pollution problem in Fort Collins? What if that something could eliminate 100 tons of pollution from the atmosphere? Help 119,000 kids in Colorado breathe easier and save money out of our own pockets while we're doing it. Would you do it? Of course you would. We all would. Hi, I'm Kim Newcomer. Now before I tell you what that something is, what do the following scenes have in common? Number one, taking the chill out of a cold winter morning drive. Number two, grabbing a quick bite to eat at your favorite drive through And number three, waiting patiently for that inevitable train on your way across town. That's right, they're all examples of air pollution caused by unnecessary engine idling. Do you know that most of us waste one to two tanks of gas per year going absolutely nowhere? And because a lot of the idling takes place in populated areas around sidewalks and buildings and schools, it can also be a big health concern. The elderly, people with respiratory illnesses such as asthma, and children are especially susceptible to the air pollutants found in auto exhaust. Vehicles emit a wide range of air pollutants, including things like carbon monoxide, nitrogen oxides, volatile organic compounds, and particulate matter. The, the pollutants are linked with a, a wide range of adverse health effects, cardiovascular diseases, asthma and other respiratory diseases, cancer, and even premature death. Um, as well, most of the gases are colorless and odorless. We can't really see or smell them. So even a car that doesn't look so dirty, it doesn't look like it's emitting a lot of air pollutants, um, it certainly is. An organized campaign in Fort Collins is encouraging people to turn off their engines and reduce unnecessary idling in three major areas. The first is warming up your car in the morning. It may sound like a good idea, but it's just not necessary. All right, but you don't have to take my word for it. Let's go ask an expert. Uh, you know, I've always heard that the best way to warm up your car is to just start it and maybe leave it in the driveway and let it warm up a little bit. No, I'd have to beg to differ. It's, <laughs> it's much better to start your car, make sure that all the gauges are reading correctly, and then start driving it. It's best to get it up to running temperature. And to do that, the best way is to start driving it. I, go, I start mine and I go right out onto the highway. <laughs> If you let it idle for long periods of time, it'll start damaging different parts of the car, like the catalytic converter right. plugging up. Now, Dennis, I'm no mechanic, but that doesn't look good. Cars are made and designed to be running up at temperature and at road speeds. You shorten the life of a vehicle by the longer you idle it. Once you're on the road, the second area to reduce idling isn't hard to guess, especially if you've ever been in a hurry to get across town. Frequent interruptions to traffic by trains in Fort Collins result in an estimated 15,000 hours of vehicle idling every year. So it's a prime location to shut off your engine. You'll be saving money and our air. You don't have to take my word for it. You know, if I'm sitting and waiting for a train, how long do I need to wait before I sh it's better to shut off my car than it is to just idle? For a few seconds, it's better to let it run. Okay. But if it's over 10 seconds, you're oh, better wow. off to go ahead and shut the car off. You know, that constant on and off might have some wear and tear on the starter. Every time you start the car, you do get some wear and tear. But you'd be better off by shutting it off and do that restarting. The fuel mileage comes up. You'll save money in the long run. And the wear and tear on the starter is really minimal compared to the savings and also for what you're doing for the air quality. So to recap the first two anti-idling points, warm up your car by driving easily in the morning instead of idling. And if you're stopped anywhere, streetlights are the exception, for longer than 30 seconds, don't idle. Turn off your engine. You'll save money and the pedestrians will thank you too. The third area to reduce idling is when picking up, dropping off, or just waiting for passengers at school zones, especially since the American Lung Association estimates that there are over 119,000 kids in Colorado who suffer from the effects of asthma. We found out Maddie had asthma about five years ago. You know, she loves to be outside, she's very active, but we do have to keep an eye on things to see after she's played for a while whether or not she's got any issues with her breathing. We do try to keep her away from lots of exhaust and, and things like that. Even in the car when we're driving and there are other cars around us, we'll put the recirculator on so that we're not getting that outside air into the car. When I get an asthma attack, when you take a deep breath in, it feels like there's a giant rock going like down your throat. And then so there's like only a little air getting to you. 
Children are considered especially susceptible to the health effects of air pollution. They breathe in a higher volume of air per their body weight than adults do, and therefore they can have these greater adverse health effects. Picking up Maddie after school is always a challenge because there's a giant line of cars and everybody sits there, of course, with their cars on idling. There's all sorts of pollution around the school because of it. It would be better for um, me to like walk by a car and the engine's not running. I'm Todd Wing and I work here at Poudre School District as the Vehicle Maintenance Manager. We do have some bus loading zones. We'll, we'll have anywhere from 10 to 15 buses in one loading zone. The district instills a idling policy with our drivers. Uh, we always ask them to uh, shut their engines off uh, when they do arrive to school, and they're not to start the buses back up until uh, everybody's clear and, and safely away from the bus. You're waiting to pick up your kids at school, turn it off. It's that simple. One click of the key and you've got that taken care of. And think of what you can do for the environment. So that's the whole idea. Idling is harmful to our health. Use common sense to reduce it. And if you're stopped for more than 30 seconds, turn off your car engine. And this way you can help us all breathe easy.